They love talking about gas prices, but they don't have an answer on gas prices. They don't have an answer on inflation. Many of them answered uh, our call for bipartisan infrastructure uh, work with a no. Um, haven't seen an answer on what to do about the price of prescription drugs. They voted against lowering that. Don't have an answer on what to do about the cost of child care. Our strategy going forward, honestly, we need to ridicule these people. We need to make fun of these people. We need to point and laugh and, you know, point them out for the jokes that they are because they're jokes. They may be dangerous as an institution, but as individuals, the Republican Party, they're a bunch of goofballs. They don't believe in reality. They don't believe in climate science. They, they're against a minimum wage, let alone raising it at all. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, we can't even get a public option on the table. They're still trying to uh, dismantle the Affordable Care Act. We, ca we can't go forward with these people. We can't. We need to point and laugh at them. So what do they do? They find somebody vulnerable and pick on them, which at the moment is largely the trans community. And they find something to talk about, which can go between the laughable, like is Donald Duck going to make your kid gay, to the incredibly dark, which is the suggestion that the very presence of someone who is gender nonconforming or trans or, or gay or lesbian or otherwise different, the very existence of somebody like that is an adult subject. We need to make sure that people who are maybe still on the fence, somehow on the fence, I don't know how you could be on the fence at this point, but if that's where you are, we need to point and laugh. I don't care if you disagree with me. This works. Republicans win because of this. We need to do the same thing. Stop bringing dictionaries to, to, to gunfights with these people. Punch them in the face. Knock them to the dirt and win. Enough with letting these people win. Enough. If my kids in, let's say, first grade classroom were to mention in passing that over the weekend they had, the, they had a great time going to, with, with their dads to the zoo, that they would have somehow by saying that uttered something age inappropriate and get us really fired up about that fight. Literally everything about the Republican Party is a joke other than the real dangers that, um, you know, they bring into our lives other than the real harm that they cause. Everything else about them metaphorically is a complete joke. You know, the party that doesn't care what celebrities think. That's why Kanye West is, you know, getting interviewed by Tucker Carlson and being defended by Candace Owens and every other prominent right wing figure because they don't care what celebrities think. You know, Kanye West being one of the most famous people in the world. Yeah, well, of course, he's on board with their agenda. You know, if Shank were to start uh, all of a sudden just saying, I, I hate Muslim people, Muslim people must die, you know, like, let's do the ban, he would get a ton of attention. You better believe that Fox News and all the right workers would be like, so, Shank, uh, what made you uh, wake up one day and see the light? You know, because, again, of course, they care about celebrities. It's politics. Anybody who's willing to push their agenda and their message, they're going to embrace them. Everything about these people is a joke, and that's why they're focused on the culture war, because they ain't got nothing, and that is also why we need to treat them like the jokes that they are. And it's just politics. It's motivated by just politics. So I guess what I'm saying is we're seeing a lot of overlapping patterns that are all pointing in the direction that the worst tendencies in, in human politics always have, which is to take rights and freedoms away and to make it harder for vulnerable people. Listen, man, if it wasn't for the racist foundations of this country, the Republican Party would have absolutely nothing to stand on. They're so terrible that they're literally beating themselves right now. The Democrats really don't have to do much of anything. They can give us the most melt toast, inching forward, little bitty baby steps towards progress, and they're a hundred times better than the Republicans. I mean, look, check this out, right? Joe Biden, the student debt relief. Obviously, as progressives, we would have loved to see him do far more than that. Yet, he deleted, you know, millions of people's debt and made it so that every month a lot of people who have it left, he took the, um, uh, the interest cap from 10% to 5%. So that's tangible. That's real. That's money in people's pockets that they really can use, right? Um, pardoning people for marijuana convictions. That's real. That's tangible. That's thousands of people's lives. Versus the Republican Party who literally just snatched away a human right from us that we won in the early 70s. 
They're going backwards. They're, they're, they're laser focused on, oh my God, drag shows exist. Oh my God, the transgender community is a thing, even though it has been for, you know, like a very long time. It's nothing new. But, you know, again, so, you know, Pete nailed it right on the head. We didn't even need to watch Pete say this, but it's true. The Republican Party has nothing and they suck. 